Hello, this is Eric Colburn from ericcolburn.com, and in this AutoCAD Civil 3D 911 video, we'll discuss how to set the default template file name for QNU. So we had a site visitor that asked me, how do you get a specific template to open up every time you click the new command in AutoCAD Civil 3D, which is really at the command line is QNU, and I want to show you how to do that. So first of all, let's click on QNU and uh, I, I'm not sure which template I've actually switched back and forth just for the sake of this video but with AutoCAD Civil 3D there will be a default bare bones template that will open if you click on the new command and it probably isn't very well set up for your needs and if you have a certain template that you use almost all the time that you like to start a project on then and I think this is what this site visitor was asking for. How do you get that to open up instead of this out-of-the-box template? So what you need to do is you can either navigate through the command, the big A in the upper hand, left-hand corner. You see at the bottom there's options, and you click on that, it opens up the options dialog box. Or probably how I would do it is a little quicker, is right-click on the screen, and at the bottom of that pop-up is options opens up this dialog box again and then you want to switch to the files tab which is the leftmost tab which I already have open and then you'll see near the bottom are template settings expand that and then you'll see default template file name for QNU let's expand that and the only real choice you, you're going to navigate either way you're going to navigate to the template that you want to use. So the only thing you need to decide is whether you want to keep your your new template that you want to use for this function to be in your folder location that you like to keep your templates or do you want to copy and paste that into the default folder location that AutoCAD Civil 3D has set up to find these templates. Uh, I think you should probably do that and that's what I have done. So you can either click on the browse button or you can double click on the link and again, it opens up this default folder location to find templates for AutoCAD Civil 3D. And then I'm going to scroll down, and I have the template that I had previously had set up. I had switched it out for the sake of this video. It is a points drawing template that I use many times when I start a project. I'm going to select that. Then I'm going to click Apply, click OK. And then what you'll see is if I click new now, that template now opens instead of the standard out of the box DWT that AutoCAD Civil 3D ships with. And this is a customized template that has my points set up with my description keys, point styles, point label styles. I have a point table set up in it, a north arrow that I can edit for the basis of bearing. I also have a layout for a worksheet that I can fill in as a small title block. So it automates that process, makes it a little quicker and easier to get going. And then all you have to do is a save as and name this. It's now a drawing. It went from a DWT. It's opened it up as a drawing. And then just save that to your project file location with a project, whatever file name you're using, and you're good to go. So it really automates the process and makes it a little faster. So this has been Eric Colburn with your Emergency AutoCAD Civil 3D 911 video. And if you like this video and you'd like to see others, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you have other questions or want to learn about land surveying and or AutoCAD Civil 3D, please visit my website at www.ericcolburn.com. And I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thank you. Work smart and be brilliant.